Okay, in lack of other content, I've been very busy lately. Let's do a quick uh, bloggy update video. Uh, there's an amplifier I'm doing for work problems. Can have it have a time to make a video on it. Standby doesn't work. Very annoying issue. Uh, but the subject of this video is just going to be the general state of stuff that's going on and simple to film. That's the battery out of a Peugeot, which uh, I've put on my desulfator because it's a shitty battery and I'm hoping that it's gonna be a bit less shitty after I do that. Gonna probably do a little load test, capacity test on it. Once it's done, it was like, I believe, 8 amp hours the last time I tested it. Probably gonna be more like 3 this time around. And it turns the engine over. Uh, I have. I have got these batteries which I haven't figured out a use for, sadly. It's a real shame, keep charging them up so they're not getting entirely ruined and it's cool in here, so they're, 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 they can sit for quite some time. I've only got the two back in the van, really, doing any kind of work. Uh, there's my ba bedroom TV with a ruined main board, which I cannot get a new board for. If you happen to have a board for an LG 32LD650N, that number give me a call because uh, this is a perfectly good TV except it has a bad main board beyond repair and uh, uh, the issue with those TVs is uh, uh, usually something going wrong with the BGAs I've fixed so many of them for like long times uh, by just reflowing the BGAs uh, yeah if you have a failed board probably just need to BGA reflow in order to get it back working for some time at least uh, trash room and uh, this is the main subject of the video uh, this is the solar system of course which sees mostly just decay it's uh, the middle of winter panels give me almost nothing and I'm just uh, since we're kind of going to spring it's like the middle of March as I'm filming this I'm just gonna uh, kind of reconfigure this uh, for uh, summer, basically, uh, because uh, this is a UPS slash inverter I've got, uh, APC Smart UPS 2200, uh, I've done a video on modifying this thing some time ago, and uh, my system is in the winter, this thing is handling everything since I don't get anything out of the solar panels, uh, being in Finland, so this has been charging for quite some time, and if we go into the web UI for uh, my charge controller, you will see that uh, our watt hours for a very long time back has just been zero, 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 zero because the UPS has been keeping the batteries absolutely full. Uh, but we're going to change that. I'm just setting up APC UPSD on this machine. It should be quite ready to go now. So let's just. Uh, be really proper and turn the video light off so you might be able to see something. I'm hoping not to have to edit this. Oh, there we go. So, everyone's been asking me about how to do the uh, voltage adjustment on the APC UPS. So, perhaps we can get a quick look at that, even though I'm not going to entitle the video as such, so no one's ever going to find it. I will go to uh, Ben. I just set up the a correct device there, we'll do, let's see if I remember, shift right click, we get a command prompt and we will do a PC test and that should hopefully give us not that invalid UPS type what? why is our UPS type invalid? oh because I set uh, that up wrong, that's supposed to be APC smart I believe yes APC smart UPS type APC smart and that's supposed to be COM1 there we go, ok take two that's good enough, we can do this, come on Talk to the UPS. Yeah, this is looking good. 
we are talking to the UPS. Uh, this UPS does have, oh, automatic light. This UPS does have the hacky RS232 thing. So uh, the front panel stops working if I, if I <laughs> flick that switch to actually configure it. Anyway, uh, we will enter programming mode six and uh, we will do Y to make sure that it's smart and we will do B to make sure that uh, so that's uh, the calibrated battery voltage that's never going to change so we'll do one and then we'll wait a second and we'll do one now that puts us in programming mode and now we can just do capital B again and we can use plus and minus to change the battery voltage so I don't remember which direction this goes so we'll just measure it because now we've got 750 amp hours backing this so uh, it's going to be pretty slow to respond if I can even get my meter on there one handed there's one string, there's the other end so that's 53.67 we will do more counts because that gives us a better resolution so this voltage is dropping so I'm figuring I pressed it the right way by doing plus so we'll do another couple of pluses see if it keeps dropping it keeps dropping so we'll do another couple of pluses what's it think for battery yeah it thinks for battery voltage is higher now so it's uh, dropping the charge voltage so we've dropped it by like a, a volt or so you just have to measure this really I usually just put a capacitor on the battery output to set this but now the battery voltage is going to drop for a while and uh, uh, tomorrow when it's uh, not in bright, bright outside uh, my solar panels are going to take over the charging of the batteries so there should be enough light uh, in March to at least keep them topped up and uh, as long as there are no extended power outages which there well, very much well might be uh, I'm not going to need the UPS to charge these and this yeah this is not going to say anything but this $600 device is actually going to do something for once it hurts me to have this thing just sitting around doing nothing but hey that's what you get for living up north so that's it, that's how you configure the APC UPS you download APC UPS, you set it up for serial port you enter programming mode, you press B then you press 1, wait 1.5 one seconds, press 1 again press B, plus and negative sets it and you have to remember to go out of programming mode else the UPS is going to beep at you forever so you do R, it tells you buy and then you do Y again to re-enter smart mode and if I want to have my front panel working I have to take my switch from brake front panel to brake com port and now I can use a menu on this and uh, this thing is actually powering my entire workshop well, this, uh, well all the IT stuff anyway so uh, we should see it's got some load on it 356 watts and that's uh, that's all the computers and stuff in normal operation so I'm pretty power efficient that's uh, uh, let's, let's actually see how much my total consumption with uh, my main, main machine turned off is out of curiosity I do have that uh, dinky power meter over there but uh, that's uh, not particularly uh, particularly well this is going to be pretty accurate but uh, it's going to be interesting to see what the UPS actually says uh, so uh, this meter is giving us 90 well wow that's uh, that's uh, we've made the video light oscillate oh that's great but yeah this is sitting at uh, 90 95 to 100 watts and that is with all the standby stuff 
that UPS and that server running and uh, yeah there, there's so much so much standby stuff around here let's see what the big UPS says if it agrees with our 15 euro class Olsen power meter and big expensive UPS is 99 watts 220 VA so we don't have very good power factor while sitting idle I'm actually not entirely sure what's drawing uh, all that power uh, because the server on its own uses like 40 watts including all the ancillary stuff I've got on it so that's a bit weird I need to go through all my power supplies and see what's actually going on I'm thinking it might be some dodgy cheap PC power supply making a mess of everything and let's just make sure that both battery banks are on and both battery banks are on, main brake is on, everything's on. Solar system should work just fine. And that battery voltage is still dropping. And now, since we still have the serial terminal open, uh, we're actually hijacking all the all the data going to the front panel of the UPS. So. Uh, the front panel of this thing actually just runs a smart protocol, I believe, if I remember correctly. But we don't need that anymore, and this is going to be entirely broken, so you quit, go away. And this should hopefully give us a relatively accurate battery voltage. Live view 53.38, 53.42. So that's close enough. And that's probably going to be the lowest voltage we've seen in quite some time because the UPS has been keeping it up rather high. Yeah, 53.8. Well, actually, we're down to 53.16 there one day, so probably had a power outage. You can probably track the power outages quite well by just looking at the min voltage you see around here. <laughs> yeah, not. Not much going on in those locks. Now this computer running off batteries, so I just want to turn that off because we are done here. Solar system is going to be utilised. I need to give these poor batteries a lot of attention. Uh, these are the same uh, telecom batteries I've been running for quite some time, uh, but uh, it's weird. These are the newest ones from 2011. I've tested these and they're awful bad, 40 amp hours each, all of them, identically, I have no idea what's going on. I really need to dig into that because these should not have suffered any kind of catastrophic failure. They were just uh, retired because this system was being upgraded, so I have no idea why these would be just 40 amp hours. And uh, I think I've got, uh, yeah, this string is, oh, come on. This camera does like it's raving. But yeah, this string's disconnected. I don't remember why. I think one of these batteries has way lower capacity than the others, and that's why I did it. Uh, but I just haven't been inspired to troubleshoot that further. I think I've replaced this battery with a couple of spares, uh, but uh, I didn't find a proper replacement or something along those lines. And that string is live, and I think that one's leaking because it's full of, oh come on, it's full of electrolyte there, which I wiped off like a couple of months ago. And, uh, oh, we don't even have our sense wire connected properly. I need to remedy that because the sol that's for the solar uh, Morningstar charge controller. We're, 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 we don't have a big enough system to have giant voltage drops in the giant massive battery cables but uh, since we've got this connected we might as well have it properly set up. Oh, hang on, that's just full enough. That thing. Yeah, no. We're not going to be putting that on there. But yeah, that's about it. That's what, what's been going on. I've been working a proper job for the last couple of weeks, hence the lack of video. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. This is going to go up unedited, so you get to see my lovely live performance skills. Uh, cheerio!
thanks for watching. Bye. Give me money on Patreon, by the way.